Good Monday morning! I am MPJ and this is Fun Fun Function. You know, today <laughs> I'm going to the uh, sci-fi fair, sci-fi fair in a uh, in a couple of hours. So I need to record an episode before that. So uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to continue the uh, the coding project, the uh, Kubernetes shenanigans project, where I um, where I try to make uh, this little buddy. Where I try to make this little buddy, come on, focus, uh, interact with uh, a uh, server deployed on Kubernetes. And a lot of people have asked me, why do you do this on Kubernetes? Why do you do this on Heroku? Well, because I wanna. Uh, I could, you know, just have some person of the... Um, of the internet uh, do this code for me and build it or I could just buy a uh, um, buy an egg timer and use that for a Pomodoro timer instead but you know it's fun to do things if you haven't watched the uh, previous uh, weekend shenanigans videos you can watch them there I have not touched this project for I think two weeks uh, which means that I have forgotten everything about it so that is uh, why it's really good and that is why it's very important to keep a work log to remember where you were uh, and uh, I have okay last time we did this we want to press the button and have the server log out the number of the button that was pressed okay I don't I think that I have, uh, I think I deleted the uh, the cluster, the uh, Kubernetes cluster last time, so I'm gonna spin that up. Uh, no, no, I need to actually create it. Uh, gonna take a while. Gonna, I'm going to, uh, while that is uh, doing its job, I'm going to uh, go to the window and look at something in the uh, in the distance because uh, my uh, optician have taught me that uh, as you watch a screen at this distance your eyes cramp up and the, that is how you gradually uh, uh, your your eye, eyesight is gradually being detrimented and watching something in the distance every 20 30 minutes or so will relax your uh, eye muscles <laughs> And we're done! Excellent! Uh, let's create a... Let's deploy Kyrene. Let's create a Docker quick start terminal. And we are going to build this. What I'm doing now is kind of annoying. Every time I do this thing, uh, I spin up a cluster on the Google Cloud, and I don't want to keep that running uh, in the two weeks where I don't do this project, so I spin this thing up again, and uh, every time I do that, I have to remember all these commands, and I should really just create a deploy script for this application. Um, I'm not sure if I should be doing that yet because uh, a deploy script is uh, it's kind of you know it's one of those things that is alluring it's you you feel like wow this would be so great if you I could automate it but it's gonna take you time to automate it uh, and uh, you you will probably change it a lot so the time you spend automating it is probably not gonna be a good time investment. Either way, I try to, you know, just apply a little bit of inertia upon myself before I, uh, uh, before I start creating deploy scripts and automate and that kind of thing. Before, you know, I let things, I let things settle before I do.
this is a mess. I, I'm going to be doing this every time. And I am going to make the goal of this episode to make a uh, deploy script. We want an automated deploy of Kyrene on Kubernetes. No, on Google Container Cloud. We're spending a lot of time just getting the server up. But you know, development is like that sometimes. You just find yourself with struggling with just one aspect of uh, getting your application deployed. And it, it's usually not a hard programming problem. It's usually some kind of bullshit configuration thing that you just can't figure out. And that's the way it is. Some parts are going to move very slowly. Some parts are going to move very, very fast. And uh, that's the way it is. So let's first create a uh, deploy. No, uh, we're going to call it, we're just going to call it scripts directory. In this, no, not a scripts file. That's wrong. We're going to create a new. Uh, not file, I'm stupid, scripts folder, cool. And this is going to have uh, uh, deploy. So we're gonna have one deploy script uh, that creates uh, the cluster from scratch and deploys the server, and one that um, creates, uh, or like updates the existing, uh, an existing server. We're going to begin by having a uh, actually creating the cluster. Oops. Create a cluster. How do you create bash scripts? Bash script header. I never remember this. It's this one. I don't remember if these are comments, I think. Okay, we're gonna uh, name this. Is this bash or... I never remember if... What bash and shell is. I guess they're different terminal environments. Who knows. Next step is that we want to build... Uh, we want to build the... Uh, Thing. Build uh, Docker image. Probably gonna do this at the top because uh, if if you're not in the uh, the Docker terminal, this is going to fail, and we don't want to do anything. Uh, otherwise, you will. This will not fail in the Docker ter terminal, uh, and uh, that means that the, the deploy script will have this super annoying long thing, and then it will fail at the second step. By the way, I want to figure out how to uh, halt uh, bash scripts on error. Uh, it's set E. Yeah, sure, but... Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Cool. Uh, just hold on any error. So, we want to create the cluster, and then... What's next? We want to deploy it. Now we want to... Um, we're gonna upload the Docker image to the. Um, we want to upload the Docker image to the cloud. Push uh, Docker image to cloud. Google Cloud. Uh, Then we want to not 
entirely sure of this quality thing that we like to try this. Uh, cube CTL run file Kubernetes to JSON. Is that it? No. out Stack Exchange, uh, digging in documentation, but it might also be, you know, organizational archaeology, you uh, digging around in old code that people have written or uh, just going around the office um, asking who knows about this. I think that we all would like um, our jobs to be all coding and stuff, but in reality that is a very small part of the job. The main part of the job is figuring out what code to write and where to write it. All right, we need to use kubectl.create. Damn. So, paste this in, create the replication control thing, but this needs, I wonder, where do we run this one? I think so. Okay. Um, num, 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 and, oh crap, it's creating, it's generating this dynamically, because the next command that we need to do is to actually expose this thing, this the server to the internet, and expose replication controller to the internet. Ah. Uh, And these things, and these things, you know, here, it's being generated, and this, it's not the same thing. Ah, uh, la la la, can you expose... How do we do this? Can we perhaps can we perhaps give the replication controller a label and expose by label? Can we do that? Call it service.json. Uh, Kyrene service ports. I don't remember what ports this is. Uh, it's 3000. Target port. 8000 maybe okay selector uh, service name uh, Kyrene right because Kyrene is that's we're defining a service name label here no no here uh, in the um, 
uh, in the specification file for the, uh, the main uh, replication controller and uh, the service will be using that to select it. Uh, will this work? kubectl create a file service.json Invalid character beginning on with key string. Uh -huh. Oh, this. Let's see if they work. Cube CTL uh, get service. Yes. Okay. Let's copy this. IP? No, we don't have an external IP yet. Let's... There. Let's copy the external IP. Go to... Uh, particle IO. Dashboard. Right. Uh, no, it's not the dashboard. It's the build thing. I think it's this. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, but this is just publishing events. Um, what does my code look like? We haven't looked at code yet. Uh, so... Oh, right, because we have a, um, because this publish, uh, where that goes, it's going, it's going to go centrally to the build.particle.io uh, service, their cloud, and then we're going to have a service hook.json that sets this up to uh, post to this IP, which is uh, our old server, so that won't work. Hmm, this is a bit tricky because this la 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 la. Okay, so instead, um, next step, uh, create, generate a, uh, a uh, particle of JSON file from the IP returned from from Kubernetes or kubectl. This is a bit tricky because uh, the kubectl command uh, running kubectl uh, get services. Ah, uh, this thing here. First of all, this is a table, and the external IP that's not gonna appear immediately. When we first run this command, this is gonna be empty. So it's going to have to either wait a little while or poll. So we will be using Node to uh, do this deploy script, or at least parts of it. So we won't be using Bash, because Bash is quite possibly the worst programming language invented of all time. So I think the first step is to write a uh, regex that will uh, match this. Do we have the output where the thing did not exist? Uh, la, 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 la. Yes. So I'm writing this to my squiggles. So this 
is what it looks like when there isn't one, and this is what it looks like when there is one. So, we're gonna do this with a regular expression. Since my Ruby days, I this was my standard go-to thing. Uh, I really like this one. There is. And we want, like, uh, any white space character. Uh, and we want more than one. And then we want the IP. Uh, we want to capture here. We want digits. Any digit here with. And we want dots, and we need to escape the dots. No, we want some digits, and we want to escape the dots because they have a special meaning in regular expressions. An IP is always gonna be formatted like this. It really won't because this won't be like it won't work with IPv6, I guess. Uh, I don't even know how an IPv6 address looks like. Are we escaping these correctly? Regular expressions is the hardest thing ever to read. There, that's sort of an IP. Ah, just for IPv6 reasons, I'm going to No, we're gonna they might so <laughs> for supporting IPv6, we're gonna change this to word. <laughs> Okay, and that will work, I think. Uh, okay, that works for capturing the the happy path. However, we also have the the sad path, which is when it looks like this. Uh, well, I'm gonna try yes. Make sure that it works when I do this too. All right, wait, the other one was actually wrong. Uh, it's the second IP address that we want. So, I'm just gonna copy this uh, and we're gonna white space here and then we're gonna capture. And we don't care about this. Right, so now it's matching the second one. And let's see the non-happy path case. Okay, it's not matching. That's actually good. That's actually good. Our regular <laughs> expression works. Ooh, okay. So we have a regular expressions for uh, extracting the... Um, the IP out of the uh, kubectl get services. The next step is to create a little script that extracts that out uh, and shoves that into a uh, JSON for the uh, particle webhook uh, and writes that down to disk and then uses that file to create the new webhook. This is very convoluted, but I'm having a lot of fun. This is turning into some kind of uh, Kubernetes, DevOps, Internet of Things series. I'm going to the sci-fi fair now. Uh, I'm going to be continuing this later in the day, or in the evening, I guess. Uh, and we'll see where it, if we can complete our deployment script today. Ugh, back! Um, the... It's gonna be cold. So, can we just grep this? What if we just paste this thing in? Grep. 
No. Oh, because that breath is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it, we'll do this with JavaScript. Uh, I tried to extract that with grep, but it's mm, script test.js. No shell script. Ooh, I don't remember how to do this. It's da 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 da. Found you. So there we go. Now let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see. This will do nicely. npm uh, install dot. Say dev, I guess. Shell JS. Gotcha. How does this work? <laughs> this is just magic syntax because they're globally injecting all these things. I'm not sure I like it, but that's the way Shell, shell JS does it. So. So how do I just execute a command? Oh, here, exec. So I just exec, uh, what was the command again? Uh, where should I deploy? No. It's kubectl get services. How does this? Let's just script test. Uh, oh, right. I have to make it executable or we can't run it as a. As a bash script. Script test of JS. Okay, cool. It runs it. But we want to get that as a uh, result. Is this how it works? Hello, no, uh, poopies. No, do you know what I want to do? <laughs> Oh, I have no idea if this is gonna work. Does this work? Yes! <laughs> okay, but I got a zero for some reason here. Uh, what is this? Um, oh, okay. Um, guess that this is the STD out. So this is just, uh, this is the result code. We don't want that. Save that, let's try it. Yes, yes, so the output is here. Cool, now let's just match it to the regex that we made before. Copy that. And std out dot match. I'm gonna tell them it's a regex. Uh, let x console.log uh, x x no oh no I lost the poop emoji I should have this as some kind of hotkey no copy 
I don't know why it doesn't copy on my first on the first time I press it. Uh blocks. Okay, I have to use use strict. Is that how you do it? Alright, so the match is okay, so this is the match. It's Okay, it's all right. The first, the first array of the match is the full string, and then the second one is the actual, the first match. So I need to do this to get the IP. No, that extracts the IP. All right, cool. So, uh, so we just call it let oh, const. Uh, First, uh, no, second, it's the second IP. Second IP regex. Oh, we want just the regex, I think. There we go. Um, bum, 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 and then we just call this the match. Second IP regex call matches calls and we call it the uh, public IP. We're gonna not public public, uh, and we're gonna call that is the matches dot one cool. Let's just check that that is okay. Run that. Alright, cool, we're now extracting the IP. What we want to do now is to read in the service hook .json, the particle hook definition for the particle web hook, uh, and read that in as a sort of template and replace this IP here with the IP that we get from service. Mm. We are going to call this service of template instead. And we are going to invent a new IP, uh, a new templating system here. And not really meant, but I. Uh, server IP address. Okay. So how do you read files in Node? Uh, read file node. Oh, node documentation. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> uh, this looks good. Copy paste. Uh, const fs require fs it's a bit messy I'm just gonna keep going along but it looks better um Okay, so this is the read file. We want to read in the service hook template.json. Uh, template file. Bloop, bloop. <coughs> I'm just gonna log this out and see if it uh, behaves. Uh, data. Yes, it behaves. Cool. We see here that uh, the uh, data logged out here is the template file. We and we want to replace the 
uh, I don't want to call it content. I don't want to call it replace contents dot replace Wee. server IP address with the public IP. Uh, we want to call this new contents. Uh, sorry, data is not defined. Right, I want to echo out new contents, not the data, because there is no data anymore. And now we have replaced the IP. That went faster than I imagined. Sometimes things go easy. Okay, uh, we did something. I have forgotten what we were doing. I'm going to check the work log. Okay, generate the particle.json file from the IP return from kubectl. Yeah, we've almost done that, but we need to write this uh to disk as well so that we can pass it to the particle webhook command uh, la, 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 la. uh how do i write to no, no, no write to file <laughs> Fia, la, 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 no yes <laughs> i am the worst as well and google still figures it out isn't this amazing we live in the future Writing file to notions. Oh, I'm, did you notice? I have been googling this before. <laughs> These are purple. Purple. Do, 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 write file. Fionk. Template file. Const output file. And it's not going to be called template, it's going to be just called service. So we're going to call it particle uh, service. So I'm going to call it particle webhook. That's better. And we are going to write to the output file and we're going to write new content. And uh, we're gonna delete that and uh, we are going to also echo out that. One part of me here wants to turn this into pretty promises, but that is one of those things that might turn into a distraction that takes over like the entire task so might do that in the future might not but I think it's always really important to focus on the end goal before you allow yourself to tidy things up too much let's write a console.log uh, successfully root to Output file. Let's see what that does. Unexpected end of input. Oh, uh, I'm not ending this properly, right? All right. Uh, I don't want this to be uh, echoed out. I think that we can. Uh, tell this to be silent. True. Yes. Uh, let's make this a bit prettier. There. Okay, so we now have a little script that uh, if, when you run it, you know, script test, that is a horrible name we're gonna talk. It's gonna be gener... we're gonna call it generate web hook config. Like that. Uh, when we run generate web hook config, that is going to generate a uh, particle uh, webhook.json uh, with a uh, fresh IP uh, picked from uh, the uh, picked from Kubernetes 
by uh, running the kubectl get services command. So what we did was had kubectl get services and it's going to via regex it's going to extract this string here and it's going to put put it there. But that's not the same string. No, no, no. It's going to pick that one. Sorry, this one and put it there. So I want to put this in the deploy command. Uh, we are going to uh, we're going to generate webhook config and we do we just do generate generate webhook config and then we are going to particle webhook create i think that is just uh, particle webhook dot json right let's try that yes yes that works okay we have a thousand webhooks now i need to delete some Uh, now this um, let's create particle web hook uh, this won't work out of the box because this command will take a little bit of time not a lot of time uh, like if we want to be fancy here we could ex like extend this thing to wait and pull for it uh, I am too lazy to do that as I, I think that I just want a sleep command here bash sleep okay right to sleep for five seconds use five um, That was the most unnecessary copy paste ever. Uh, too lazy to, to write sleep. Uh, okay, exposing will take a little while. So let's sleep. Uh, I'm just Twenty seconds. You know, this might be it. I'm going to go and delete my cluster again. Uh, where is my Google Cloud here? So this is my Google Cloud. I'm going to delete this container cluster here. Yes, I want to delete Kyrene. We're deleting some Linux clusters in the cloud. It's deleted! Okay, I'm not yet confident enough to run this uh, on its own, so I'm gonna run Rank line by line. Let's make this nice and clean. Okay, first command: building the uh, Docker uh, image. <laughs> okay, successfully built. That worked. Create the cluster. Copy paste. Creating. Oh, this will take some time again. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, 
found a bit of old carrot in the kitchen. This is gonna punish itself because I'm gonna get carrot in my teeth and everybody's gonna screenshot that. That worked. Push the, try pushing the image. Worked. Creating the replication controller. We. That's not gonna be right. It's gonna just be. It's created, that worked, and we are going to expose the... No, this won't work because this is... This is generator. Right, oh, but we, we saw this before. We are going to... This is gonna be kubectl create file uh, service.json. Yes, yes, so it's gonna be that. I think this looks sensible, yes. Okay, now we're gonna wait 30 seconds. What's this, 30 seconds? Make the R, maybe. Let's just do that. No. I don't think 30 seconds is gonna be enough. No way, it is there. Oh yeah. No, 30 seconds is definitely not enough. Uh, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna go crazy and do 120 seconds. Hang on, I'm just gonna delete this to make sure that it's actually generating it. And then we're gonna do particle webhook, particle JSON. Okay, cool. I think everything worked. Uh, so, yes, let me do kubectl get pods to see what services are running. This is running now, so let's see if we're gonna tail the logs of this little bugger logs do 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 follow and if this works now <laughs> pressing the button yes <laughs> awesome i'm going to do that again i'm gonna do that again but i'm going to use other camera and i'm going to press the button here and it's going to update and i'm gonna press other buttons and it's gonna say four and it's gonna say two and it's gonna whoa <laughs> yes I have created life. So this works now, let's tidy things up a bit because everything is really messy. Kubernetes.json is a bit of a misnomer. This is actually the configuration for the replication controller. Replication controller. Uh, and I'm gonna put that into. You know what? I'm just gonna call this. looking pretty good. We're spending a lot of time on this and, and, and it's actually pretty stupid for a, for a hack, but or no, nothing is stupid for a hack. A hack is what it is. A side project is what it is. It's whatever you want it to be, but um, for a real application, it's very, very good to have, you know, a very simple deploy process where all these things are solved in one place and 
you can do it in a simple way and you know that it's gonna work. You don't need to remember to put your servers into a certain state to deploy the app. Uh, you don't have to remember to yeah, we have to install this shit on this server and you have to remember to do this before you do that. Um, if you have a process to take care of that, um, things are going to be a lot easier for you because this kind of shit will take up so much of your time otherwise. Are you lonesome tonight? Watch the screen. Yes! <laughs> This means that we have accomplished our mission. We want an automated deploy of Kyrene on Google Container Cloud. Let's commit this stuff. about having a workload is that uh, you can just copy paste uh, the workload items as your commit message. Bam! Okay. Git push mpj master. Yep, and it's it's pushed and you can check it out here if you are interested in reading any of this blabber blabber. As usual with these episodes, we didn't get very far. The only thing that we did was an automated deploy of uh, our uh, server on Google Cloud. But we accomplished what we set out to do. I think it's very important to celebrate every little step along the way because no matter how big your application is, it's going to be made up of these small, small individual steps towards a bigger goal. And uh, if, you, if you focus too much on the end goal and uh, forget about uh, focusing on the individual parts and uh, feeling the sense of progress that you're making with each individual part, you're going to feel, you're going to feel bad. You're gonna feel like, oh, I'm not getting to my goal. Uh, and uh, eventually, if you don't feel that sense of progress, it's going to like hurt your motivation so much that you just don't have the stamina to each reach your end goal. And this is especially important when you are working with um, uh, your own projects uh, where nobody is telling you what to do and pushing you. So in those cases, you have to think about your motivation a lot. How did you like this episode? How how do you like this format? Did, did you feel that uh, this episode improved over the last episodes? Is there anything that you would like to see different? Do you like the length? Are you actually a cat and you're just writing comments on the internet and you you post as a human and you want to confess that? Write a comment below or uh, write a comment below Write a comment below, or if you don't feel like that, hit like, that's also good, or maybe even hit subscribe. I make a new episode of Fun Fun Function every Monday, and subscribing will make sure that you don't miss out on them. If you don't feel like waiting and you want more Fun Fun Function right now, you can check out this episode, perhaps. It's nice. I am MPJ. This is Fun Fun Function. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.